Hey everybody, this week's video is all about flock or suede texture powder. Uh, my past couple projects I actually added flock to uh, this jewelry box here and some cigar boxes a few weeks ago. Uh, but I had a few questions, uh, you know, what exactly is flock? So I figured I'd make a video and show the process of adding flock to a project. Uh, so here I'm just getting everything ready. I got the mini flocker, which is the applicating tube, a bag of black powder, a can of adhesive, and a dust mask. And I'm working out of that plastic tote there, and that serves a pretty practical purpose that you'll see later on in the video. Putting on my dust mask, because once I start applying the powder into my workpiece, it's going to get pretty dusty in the shop, so don't want to be breathing this stuff in. It's a very fine powder. So I'm just spooning it into the applicator. And then I'll start getting my workpiece ready. So now we're going to start taping it off because I'm going to apply the adhesive and I don't want to get it on any of the good parts of my workpiece. So we'll tape off and then start to paint. All right, we're almost done here. All right, so since I'm using black flock, I will be using the suede text undercoat, uh, and that will be black as well. That way when I apply my powder, if there's any imperfect coverage, it won't be as noticeable. So it comes in many colors, uh, and you just want to get an adhesive that matches the color of flock you're using. So now we're going to start applying the powder and the applicating tube works pretty much like a pepper shaker. You can see it there, kind of floating around in the air. So this is why we're using this plastic tube, that way it catches all the extra powder floating around. All right, so this is 24 hours later, and my adhesive is pretty close to the set, uh, but it's close enough for me to finish my project. So I shook out all the extra powder, and you can see there the inside of my box is coated pretty well. And here I'm just showing how fine this flock material actually is, it's very, very fine. I'm gonna do a test piece here. That way it's easier to see. Just fooling around a little bit. Here I am just using a spoon method. All right, again, 24 hours later after applying that. There we go, a little better of a picture there. You 
you'll see it's kind of like a felt. Now there's a better picture. After everything's said and done, you actually can reuse the powder that is uh, in the box. Or the, in my case, this little plastic tote here. So always want to work inside of a box. That way, try to make the most of your flock powder. And I'm just using a compressor to spray out the rest of the excess powder that was inside the box. And here's another project, that was the uh, cigar boxes I did. Flock material on one side. And that's it. That was applying flock material to a project. Thanks for watching guys. Uh, it's been 14 weeks of videos. Uh, like and subscribe. See you later.